Oliver Percival Kilbourne, a British painter, was born in 1904. He is best known as a founding member of the Ashington Group, a collective of artists. Kilbourne's artistic style was heavily influenced by his background as a coal miner. He drew inspiration from his experiences in the mines and depicted them in his artwork. Kilbourne's main contribution to the Ashington Group was his emphasis on modern art. He brought a contemporary perspective to the group and incorporated modern techniques and styles into his paintings. His work reflected the changing times and the industrial landscapes of Britain during that period. Kilbourne's unique perspective and his ability to capture the essence of the mining community made him a significant figure in the art world. His paintings not only showcased the harsh realities of the mining industry but also highlighted the resilience and strength of the working class. Kilbourne's art continues to be celebrated for its powerful portrayal of the human experience and its contribution to the modern art movement. Joseph Marie Veen was supported by Comte de Calis and started learning art at a young age in the studio of Nato Iyer. In 1745, he won the Grand Prix. He spent his time in Rome studying nature and developing his own skills, taking inspiration from the great works of art around him. However, when he returned to Paris, his style was so different from the popular style of the time that he was only admitted to the academy because Francois Boucher was angry about his painting Deadless and Icarus, which can now be found in the Louvre. Vien was at the peak of his career when he became the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he refused to take Jacques-Louis David under his wing because he thought David was too old to mentor young artists. After five years, he returned to France, but unfortunately, the French Revolution left his life and career in ruins. Despite the challenges posed by the Revolution, Vien continued to create art in his later years. In fact, he even won a government competition at the age of 80 in 1796. Napoleon Bonaparte recognized his talent and made him a senator. Vien passed away in Paris and was buried in the crypt of the Pantheon. As an artist and teacher, he influenced many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Suvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagier, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. In conclusion, Oliver Percival Kilbourne was a pioneering British painter and a founding member of the Ashington Group. His artwork, heavily influenced by his background as a coal miner, showcased the harsh realities of the mining industry while also highlighting the resilience and strength of the working class. Kilbourne's emphasis on modern art brought a contemporary perspective to the group, incorporating modern techniques and styles into his paintings. His unique perspective and powerful portrayal of the human experience made him a significant figure in the art world, contributing to the modern art movement. Kilbourne's art continues to be celebrated for its ability to capture the essence of the mining community and its impact on the art world.